Hi, I'm Stevie Morrison, and this is Sail GP Moment of the final day in San Francisco. First up, it's race four at gate two, and we can see a tight moment for both the USA and Spain looking for that left turn mark here. They're close coming in, but leading in is Jimmy Spittle on board the US boat. We can see he hits that yellow circle first. There's no overlap for Jordi Jamar. He isn't entitled to room, but he dives inside. And look at the consequences of that move. He ends up flying too high. He lands on board the American boat. We're on board here. We can see Jimmy Spittle and a vice at the back of the boat. My Lord, are we glad to see there was no incident there. Rome Kirby diving out of his cockpit and the drama didn't end there. Board the Spanish boat now and look to the bottom left hand side of the screen and we can see there the foils almost intertangled with each other and it's the main foil of the Spanish boat ripping the back section, that blue section off the back of the American boat there. Near capsized for the Spanish and we see the angle on the back of the American boat, Rome Kirby jumping out of his cockpit, Jimmy Spittle, Paul Campbell James almost pushing the Spanish boat off. Wow, I mean, it was lucky that no one was hurt in that. But as we see the overhead shots of the boat, we can see the back the sacrificial part of the back of the boat ripped off, huge hole in the boat, but fortunately it wasn't too integral. The boat was able to be repaired and got ready for that final. But what a moment in that race. There was more drama in race five. And this is, I think, something we're going to see as we move into season three. The fleet numbers are growing and it's only going to get more congested on the field of play. Here we see the situation starboard tack Ben Ainsley. The Kiwis should turn up and keep clear of the French. They don't. They decide they want to turn right. They don't have the right of way and they start turning towards the French boat believing they're keeping clear of the British, which they are, but it's not what the French wanted to do. And it was up to the French to make the decision. And that's the result. The French trying to go behind the British, Kiwis trying to go in front. They came together and that confusion and misjudgment in decision-making by Peter Berlin, thinking Contant de Lapierre would take another decision. Look, he's already set up to jibe. Number one there, the crew are to leeward. Number two, the new board is already down. The New Zealand crew thought they were gonna jibe. They anticipated the French jibing, but no, the French wanted to head up behind and it was up to the French to make the decision. Now look, on the left of screen, we're gonna see Contant de Lapierre diving out the way. The skipper of the French boat, hands up in the air. I think those hands might be up in the air at me in the commentary booth. I called it wrong at the time. I felt really that the French should have jibed away, should have rolled out and done what Burling and Took on the Kiwi boat thought they were gonna do. They didn't, I was wrong but I'm intrigued to see how everyone at home felt about the situation. How did you feel? Did you think they should have jibed away? Do you agree with the umpire, Craig Mitchell, or did you agree with my initial reaction on the water? It's all happening so fast. We've got to work out how we keep this safe, but how we keep it tight going into season three, because we're only going to see more of this. Great action. Thankfully, everyone's safe, but what a moment. Look forward to hearing what everyone thinks. We've had three big incidents now. GBR oh Japan God. in Sydney, Spain in the USA, and race five in San Francisco with Great Britain, France, and New Zealand. Shocking incidents, big moments. I'd love to hear from everyone at home as to which moment you found the most scary, the most shocking, and what we're going to see in season three.